Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt with the Movement System, and today we're gonna to talk about the four main functions of cortisol. So to lay the groundwork, cortisol is a hormone, and hormones are chemical messengers that work through our bloodstream. So cortisol specifically is released by the adrenal gland and goes into the bloodstream. And the main overarching goal of cortisol is to maintain blood glucose levels. So cortisol is often known as a stress hormone and involved in the sympathetic nervous system or the fight or flight response. So knowing that, let's go ahead and dive into the four functions of cortisol. Number one is protein catabolism. So if you imagine a stressful situation, and this could be physically stressful, meaning a hard workout, which is high volume or short rests, or it could be a mentally stressful situation where you're using a lot of glucose through your brain. In either of those situations, it's not beneficial for the body to be taking glucose out of the bloodstream and building muscle tissue. Instead, the body is actually going to be breaking down proteins into amino acids and then using those amino acids to actually turn into glucose and maintain blood glucose levels that way. So protein anabolism is protein building and that's a anabolic process, but protein catabolism is actually protein breakdown. So another way to say this would be that cortisol is involved in protein breakdown. And importantly, this isn't always a negative thing. This is actually in acute situations, like right after a workout or during a workout, an important part of the tissue remodeling process. So it's important to have some amount of cortisol release and that's natural, but we don't want that chronic because we do want overall to maintain a net positive muscle protein synthesis. Okay, function number two is gluconeogenesis. And this word sounds complicated, but really if you break it down, gluco meaning glucose, neo meaning new, and genesis meaning creation, this word just basically means the creation of new glucose. So look, we talked about cortisol is breaking proteins down into amino acids, and then those amino acids can become new glucose through the process of gluconeogenesis. And other substrates as well, such as lactate and glycerol, could also go through this process of gluconeogenesis, which supports the main role of cortisol, which is actually to maintain blood glucose levels, so that way you can have energy to produce muscle contractions and get out of a stressful situation. If this video has been helpful for you so far, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe with your notifications on so you don't miss any new videos. Okay, the third function of cortisol is actually one that not everyone knows about, and that's lipolysis. And when you think about cortisol as a bad stress hormone that's just breaking things down and stealing your gains, this doesn't become so intuitive. But actually, if you think about the main function of cortisol as maintaining blood glucose levels, then lipolysis or breaking down fats actually does help us maintain blood glucose levels and fuel the body by mobilizing our fuel sources. And just as a quick review, lipolysis is basically the process of taking a fatty acid and removing it from the glycerol backbone. And that's part of the process of breaking down a fat. And the other part would actually be beta oxidation after that, where we turn the fatty acid into acetyl-CoA. So basically, cortisol is just helping to get that process of fat burning started. Okay, and function number four, and this is an important one, is immunosuppression. So importantly, the immune system is a glucose dependent pathway, meaning that it's gonna take energy. And if we're in this fight or flight stressful situation where you're you know, classically running away from a bear, you're not worried about fueling your immune system and building up antibodies and things like that. So that glucose dependent pathway is actually gonna be inhibited in the presence of cortisol. Because again, it's not an essential function and it's actually taking glucose out of the bloodstream. So cortisol is going to inhibit that pathway to again, maintain the levels of blood glucose. So just to review guys, cortisol's main function is as a catabolic hormone, mobilizing fuel sources, breaking things down to help maintain our blood glucose levels. All right, guys, so I hope that was helpful for you overall. If you want to, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at The Movement System and go ahead and check out some of my other videos. I hope you have a stress-free rest of your day. Take a deep breath, reduce your cortisol levels, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.